Hello, today we will solve one new problem related to lines. Whenever we are solving the line problem, when we read the problem, we came to note that there are five data points or five data related to the line problems are given. Now, whenever you will read the problem in exam or if the problem is given to you, check how many data points are given related to that problem. Now, we will solve this problem. So, to solve the problem effectively, we should have 5 data with us. If we take an example of normal line problem, so how many things are given? True length of the line, that is one point. Then distance from HP, second point. Distance from VP, third point. Then theta, inclination of the true length with HP is given, fourth point. And inclination of the line with vertical plane, that is phi is given. So we need five data points to draw any line problem. If in a problem something is missing, like four points are given out of five. So we have to assume one data point. If three points are given, we have to assume the two remaining one. So this category is known as assumption problems. Today we will see how to solve such type of problems. We will read this problem. A point A of 100 mm long line AB is in HP. Is in HP. So a point A of 100 mm line. Now the true length of the line is given. True length is 100 mm. We will read the problem. The end point A of 100 mm long line AB is in HP. So A is in HP. What is meaning of A is in HP? If point A, this is horizontal plane, this is vertical plane. If A is in HP, means the front view will appear on the XY line. So A point A dash will appear on the XY line. Now B is in VP. If point, now A is in HP and point B, suppose this is vertical plane. This is horizontal plane. This is the condition like A is in HP and B is in VP. So if B is in VP means B also we have to draw on the XY line. B in VP. Elevation makes 40 degree with XY. So alpha is given 40 degree. And the projected distance between end point PD is 60 mm. How to solve this problem? Okay, we will see how to solve the solution of this problem. Very first we will draw the xy line. Then we will locate point A dash. A is in HP means A dash will be here. Front view of the line will start from A dash. Then they have given B is in HP and also they have given the projector distance line. Projector distance from A dash to here. So we will draw one plane line for the projected distance. It is given 60 mm. So here we will have point B. So this is the start of front view and this is the end of front view. Now they have given elevation makes 40 degree with xy. If elevation makes 40 degree with xy at 40 degree we will be making one line where it will end this will be point B dash. This is elevation length EL and this is locus of end point B in the front view. This angle is alpha 40 degree. It is given in the problem itself. Now this data is given to us. Now if we measure uh, here point A where it will lie they haven't given us. So we have to Assume point A in the top view. So let us assume point A is here, somewhere apart. So we will assume point A. Now true length of the line is 100 mm. So this is point A1, B1. Let us say this is point A1, B1. Now we know that if 
we will cut the arc if we will cut the arc here so wherever the arc will touch so this projector gives us the true length true inclination of the line so if the elevation length if we cut the arc if we are coming down so here we are getting the so this is the true length of the line and if this projector what this projector is indicating actually if the line is inclined to vertical plane at phi angle and if we have the projector then we are getting the en this is also en now we have came with the arc now we will come with this and now we will have this distance of true length with us with this true length if we cut the arc here the arc will touch here and i am getting angle phi here and this will be the locus of end point b let us say this is 2 and here we have b2 so we got the el we came reverse we have drawn el we have came with the projector and this projector is nothing but we are getting when the true length is inclined at phi angle so we have drawn this point and in this way we have got angle phi in the top view now how to proceed now here i am getting pl also plan length also here i am getting angle beta once because this is the projector distance line and this is the locus where the where they are intersecting will be our point b1 so let us say b3 okay now what is given in the problem like they have given that now we uh, with the true length we will do one more thing with the true length that is 100 mm we will cut one more arc so that we will be getting angle theta in the front view this is one more step now actually in the problem they have given that point b is in vp so this is the actually end of the plan length or the top view now we got the beta angle we will use the alternate angle concept and with this angle beta we will draw a line here so with angle beta if i will draw a line one minute so if with angle beta i will draw a line it will intersect here and this is actual point a and this angle is beta so this is the plan length this is ab line actual line and this is a dash b dash that is the front view so we have to assume in this problem we have to assume the position of point a in the top view because it is not given in the problem because if we count here this is first data second data third fourth and fifth data we have assumed distance of a in the top view we have assumed now how to go for traces very easy now we will extend the now the front view is touching here we'll come down with this so this will be h dash and the projector line and top view is meeting here so this is point h so this is ht of line in exam you measure this distance and write its dimension measure it and write the dimension it is required to be given this dimension then we will go for vt extend the top view till it cut to the xy line that point will be v here b is on vp so we are getting v here draw the projector Wherever the front view will meet will be your h dash. So now this will be your h t. Measure the distance and write the dimension of h t here. That is also required. So in this way we have drawn the problem of line when one data is missing. Thank you so much.